politics, and all that rings true on every time you are on this stage. Aaron, you are, you are so uh, scary. Yes, very. I didn't uh, see last night um, because I was part of it, but I did see, uh, I've saw tapes of you putting a pineapple on my head and I saw the arrow and, pardon me? He shot an apple off my head with a bow and arrow. No, I know, I know what everybody did. And this is the hardest part of the show for me because Future Kings, you are amazing. You are great. Aaron, you bring to magic. Howie, you're killing us right now. You are killing us, Howie. What is happening right now? Okay, okay, all right, all right, I got it. It's Aaron! Future Kings, you guys are amazing. You have a future ahead of you. America, we have our next semi-finalist. He doesn't speak. Can you give me at least one word, Aaron, something that you're feeling? Nice. Nice? Nice. Okay, next week, the semi-finalists begin. We're gonna have 11 acts, okay? Make some noise for beautiful and my beautiful four judges and Simon's Hollywood Walk of Fame star. See you 8, 7, Central Tuesday. Stick around later for Jimmy Fallon as Ariana Grande drops by tonight. We're OfferPad, and we want to buy your home. We're the new way homes are sold. Just go to OfferPad.com, enter basic information, and the next day, we will send you a great offer. It's that easy. Selling to OfferPad means no showings. You pick your closing day, and we'll even move you locally for free, freeing up you to live your life. We've helped thousands of happy home sellers, and we'd love to help you. We're your online home buyer with a human touch. So get excited. Take that next step. We're here to help. OfferPad. Move freely. Request your free purchase offer today. Sanctuary cities, a radical and dangerous immigration policy, banning local police from working with federal officials to catch and deport criminal illegal immigrants. Congresswoman Kirsten Sinema supports sanctuary cities, even after experts warn they create safe havens for known criminals, victimizing innocent Americans. Yet Kirsten Sinema votes to give our tax dollars to fund these cities that release illegal criminals. Tell Congresswoman Kirsten Sinema to stop funding dangerous sanctuary cities. 12 News at 10, Arizona's Choice at 10. Now, from the number one night team, a daughter in mourning. After her father's murder. Omar's suspected killer accused of murdering his pregnant wife and running off with their sons. Who will replace John McCain in the Senate? The five names who are the odds on favorites. Developing new details after a catastrophic collision between two boats. A wild ride ending with a crashing conclusion and an ending you'll never expect. She's in the back, she's in the back seat. And Labor Day, what's the meaning behind one of the most misunderstood holidays? Arizona's news leader in action for you tonight. 12 News at 10 starts right now. Up first, breaking news. Mexico is now issuing an Amber Alert for two missing Valley boys. Police think eight-year-old Victor and five-year-old Jonathan Coronado Nunez may be with their father. Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight. Glad that you're with us. I'm Mike Gonzalez in for Mark Curtis. Now, their father is facing murder charges accused of killing the boy's pregnant mom and another man. Tonight, his daughter is talking exclusively with Team 12's Jessica DeNova about the memories she has of her dad. Jessica? Yes, Kimberly Gonzalez was setting aside a few dollars here and there. She and her dad had a trip planned to Las Vegas. Now she's using that money toward her father's funeral. A daughter too crushed to talk about the last time she saw her dad, Omar Gonzalez. Phoenix police say Gonzalez and his roommate, Oralia Nunez, were murdered Saturday morning. The third victim, Nunez's unborn child. Investigators naming Dimas Coronado as the suspect in the triple homicide. Sometimes I really wish it's not true. Kimberly Gonzalez losing her dad at just 11 years of age. The two getting to know each other better over the last couple years after Kim's father moved to the valley. No importa la distancia, siempre es. 
dad lived in Rocky Point when he gave his only daughter this keychain reading. It doesn't matter like how far we are, I'm always with you. Those who knew Omar Gonzalez tell me Gonzalez was just renting a room at the home and did not have any romantic relationship with the woman killed in this case. They say he was planning to move out in a month because of death threats from her jealous husband who is the suspect in this triple murder. Some people said he got shot. Today, only memories can close the gap between this father and daughter. He'll like me to get good grades, and each time I'm like, I would actually get good grades. He'll celebrate me, like take me to eat. Dinner dates and soccer games with someone she could trust, a friend, is how Kimberly remembers her father. He was, he was a great dad. The families of both victims want to return their bodies to their parents in Mexico. We have a link to their GoFundMe pages on 12news.com. Jessica Denova, 12 News. Jessica, thanks again. Breaking news tonight as Mexico issues that Amber Alert for the two missing Valley boys. Again, they are eight-year-old Victor and five-year-old Jonathan Coronado Nunez. We'll bring you the very latest on 12 today starting at 4.30 in the morning. Well, right now, the search is on for three boaters missing after a catastrophic crash near Lake Havasu. Divers scouring the Colorado River for any signs of life. Three people are still missing, and authorities presume that they are dead. Since the Saturday crash, they have recovered the body of a missing woman. Two boats carrying 16 people crashed before sinking on the river. Also right now, an investigation is underway after a body is found along the side of the road near Buckeye. MCSO deputies responding to the area along State Route 85 and Hazen Road. So far, no details on the person, only that the investigation is in the early stages, and they're trying to figure out what led up to the death. Here are more of tonight's hot headlines from around Arizona. A four-year-old boy is alive tonight after falling under the water at a North Phoenix apartment complex pool. The night team on the scene near 7th Street and Greenway. Phoenix Fire telling 12 News the child fell under the water between 30 and 60 seconds, but the child is conscious and awake and cried while on the way to the hospital where doctors are checking him out right now. More than two dozen members of the Arizona National Guard are preparing to deploy to Afghanistan. The soldiers leave tomorrow after a send-off ceremony at the Papago Park Military Reservation. They will serve in Afghanistan for nine months. Developing now, we are just hours away from the start of confirmation hearings for Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh. He's President Trump's pick to replace retiring Justice Anthony Kennedy. Republicans hope their slim Senate majority and red state Democrats will confirm Kavanaugh and tilt the court to the right. Democratic leaders say any confirmation hearing should be delayed until the special counsel finishes its Russia probe. Well, Senator John McCain's replacement could affect Kavanaugh's confirmation. That's right. The clock is now ticking for Arizona Governor Doug Ducey to name his choice to fill the late senator's seat. Team 12's Michael Doudna joins us with more on who may become Arizona's next senator. Michael. Guys, the choice is gaining so much attention with Republicans holding just a slim one vote margin in the Senate and whomever it is may end up shaping the course of the Senate for the next few years. Last week was a time for mourning. We're going to focus on, on honoring and respecting and comforting the family. This week, though, the focus is now on who will take McCain's pivotal vote. No. Who gets picked is even attracting money with websites taking bets on who could be the potential replacement. The front runner, according to predicted, well, is General Michael McGuire. We have to deal with whatever conditions uh, we face. He's the adjunct general for Arizona's National Guard, and he brings military bona fides along with a political blank slate. The second betting favorite would be the experienced choice, John Kyle, who served for 18 years as a senator. And there's also money coming in for Sidney McCain, though she would be a pretty interesting choice considering she's not a strong conservative vote in a Senate with very slim margins. Senator McCain had that way of making people feel like they were the only person in the world. Those kind words were spoken by Eileen Klein, the state treasurer, who could also be a potential Senate pick. And then there's John Shattuck, a former congressman who seems to check the boxes from being a Trump supporter to also having experience. We caught up with him last week to ask about potentially taking over. It's a question that you're welcome to ask, but it's a question I'm not answering. In reality, there are plenty of names out there who could take over for John McCain, 
but it will be up to Governor Ducey to decide who will help shape the future of the Senate. Whoever is picked will have some big votes to look at almost immediately, including the Supreme Court nominee, the budget, and health care. Guys, back over to you. All right, Michael, thank you. So who do you think should fill John McCain's Senate seat? Should it be a family member, a politician, or perhaps a business leader? Go to 12news.com slash your voice to vote in tonight's live interactive poll. The final results are right before tonight's show. Now from the night team, Molly Tibbetts' dad is breaking his silence tonight. Yeah, it comes nearly two weeks after authorities found the missing Iowa student dead. Rob Tibbetts says he does not want Molly's death to be used as a political pawn. Authorities say an undocumented immigrant killed her and dumped her body. In an op-ed, Rob Tibbetts criticizes those who, quote, callously distort and corrupt Molly's tragic death to advance a cause she vehemently opposed adding, do not appropriate Molly's soul in advancing views she believed were profoundly racist. President Trump's son recently used Molly's death to bash Democrats. In the days following the arrest, the president himself even using the case to call for stronger immigration laws. Molly Tibbetts, an incredible young woman, is now permanently separated from her family. A person came in from Mexico illegally and killed her. So far, there has been no response from the White House to Mr. Tibbetts' op-ed. Well, no details right now on Tropical Storm Gordon. The storm system is moving away from Florida, but eyeing the Gulf Coast, including New Orleans with, can you imagine this, just marked their 13th anniversary of Hurricane Katrina's catastrophic blow. Yeah, Team 12's Antonia Mejia is tracking the tropics for those of us with loved ones back east. She joins us live from the Alert Center with the latest details. Antonia? Caribe, a hurricane warning is now in place along the Louisiana, Mississippi, and Alabama coast. That also includes New Orleans. Now, Gordon is forecast to strengthen into a Category 1 hurricane, the first of the Atlantic season. And tonight, people in the area are definitely preparing. Tropical Storm Gordon slamming South Florida. I didn't expect it to end up like this. I thought it was just going to be out of bands, rain, not like this. Relentless rain falling on part of the Sunshine State. Now Gordon is moving on and expected to gain strength. Forecasters say it could be a hurricane when it reaches the Gulf Coast. Much of southeast Louisiana can expect to see heavy rain of four to six inches, possibly seven inches of rain in some areas. People across the coast are grabbing sandbags and shopping for last minute necessities. I'm ready, I'm stacking up on some stuff just in case. Hurricanes are a fact of life along the Gulf Coast, but even longtime residents like Erica Garcia are concerned. It makes me a little nervous. Yeah, last night I was I was pretty nervous. I had anxiety bad last night. Most people plan to ride out the storm. Others have a different plan. When a storm come, I leave. All right, so a lot of local schools around the New Orleans area are going to be closed tomorrow. As of right now, some major universities are still having class, but that could change as forecasters expect Gordon to make landfall tomorrow night. We're live in the Alert Center, Antonia Mejia, 12 News at 10. A wild ride ending with a crashing conclusion and an ending you'll never expect. She's in the back, she's in the back seat. Sepsis warning signs after a little girl contracts the potentially deadly infection from trying on shoes. Your daily Java jolt. Can your Keurig's water tank make you sick? The Verify team on the case. September sizzler. How long will towering temps last? And Labor Day. What's the meaning behind one of the most misunderstood holidays? The number one night team on your home of the Arizona Cardinals just getting started. Toyota's national clearance event is the best part of summer. And with super low APR financing and great lease deals, it won't last long. Oh, I'm so excited. You are not alone. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mwah. Yes. But my job. During Toyota's national clearance event, get $1,500 cash back on a new 2018 Highlander or lease one for just $279 a month. Save on the last of the 2018s. Come in today. Toyota, let's go places. Because community is a common bond. Because there's strength and friendship.
because family sticks together. MidFirst Bank will always be true to your money. With an exceptional banking experience that's worth sharing with your family and friends. MidFirst Bank, true to your money. More and more people are finding themselves in a Chevy for the first time. You can too during the Chevy Labor Day sales event. Now through September 10th, use Labor Day cash and trade up to this Silverado to get a total value of $11,000 when you finance with GM Financial. This Labor Day, discover why Chevy is the most awarded and fastest growing brand the last four years overall. See your Valley Chevy dealer. So we were on our cruise and I saw a little something that I just had to get for you. What? Honey. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. Whoa. We just knew. You shouldn't have. Well, it was a little bit pricey. Expensive. But you are worth it. I... I have no words. Don't spend too much on chicken. At Sanderson Farms, you get fresh quality chicken for an honest price. Sanderson Farms. Almost struck another vehicle passing. Driveway patrol just got a spike. I oh, went off road. Looks like she's about to wreck. No, she's still got it. We're in oncoming traffic now. Oncoming traffic. Her arm is sticking out of the, the door right now, out of the window. Developing now incredible images of a woman gunning it, leading police on a high speed chase with a baby in the back seat. The Texas Department of Public Safety now releasing video of the heart stopping, risky, and wild ride from June. The woman with outstanding warrants hitting the gas after a trooper pulls her over. Now the crash ensues at speeds of 100 miles an hour and several near misses. A spike trip strip sends her off the freeway onto city streets where she crashes and then does the unthinkable. She's in the back, she's in the back seat. She's got the baby and we're running. Female with a baby is running southbound from the crash. Okay, we're getting in a white, we're getting in a white Nissan Xterra, white Nissan Xterra. Troops in front of it. Hold the air, hold the air. And yeah, you see it there. She tries carjacking another driver with baby in tow. Troopers arrest her. She is facing a slew of charges, including child endangerment and possession of a controlled substance. Mike? Rebe, thanks. Still unbelievable to see that video. Now from the night team, a four-year-old girl is alive tonight after developing something called sepsis, likely because she tried on a pair of shoes barefoot. Sienna ending up in the hospital with a common infection that can be deadly. Doctors believe bacteria got into Sienna's body through a cut on her foot, but in her case, they managed to drain the pus and clear up the infection after several days in the hospital. This can be the result of any infection. It can result from having it cut on your skin that gets infected. Every hour that sepsis goes unrecognized, you have a 7.6% increase in your mortality. Time is an acronym to know the warning signs. T stands for temperature, I stands for infection, M stands for mental decline, E stands for extremely ill. Time is the most important part of survival. All right, now to our 12 News Verify. Okay, when you pick up that delicious cup of brew, you think you're getting an energy jolt, right? I do it just about <laughs> every day, so. yeah. But what really is in that cup? Now, caffeine, creamer, and maybe even bacteria? Well, there's been a lot of bad press lately about Keurig coffee makers having slimy, uncleanable water tanks that could cause illness. So to find out if that's true, we consulted Keurig cross-checked the fact-checking source uh, and read up on cleaning tips from Good Housekeeping. And we can verify, yes, Keurig machines get moldy and can make a person sick if they're not cleaned often, but that's true for most coffee makers, not just Keurigs. So Keurig recommending putting distilled vinegar in the reservoir every three to six months to keep the machine clean and filtered properly. I have to be honest, I had a cup of coffee in our many Keurig machines around here. I That's started right. to think, is it clean? <laughs> <laughs> I think we keep them pretty clean around here. I, I would hope so. And if not, I guess you could always take the uh, tank out, go rinse it off yourself. Or, yeah, or it. have a sick day, right? <laughs> All right, anyway, new at 10. What does Labor Day mean to you? It's one of the most misunderstood holidays on the calendar. Yeah, for most of us, Labor Day is a day to do anything but labor. For others, <laughs> it means working even harder. Team 12's Ryan Cody is seeing how you're celebrating. So, Ryan, 
What is Labor Day? Well, I used to think Labor Day was a day off, so right. you can imagine yeah. my confusion as we were driving into work today. Uh, it, it actually means a couple different things. Um, it, it's a federal holiday honoring what our nation's workforce did and is doing for the overall prosperity of the country. That's the general definition, but Labor Day does not mean the same thing to everybody. Grilling can be hard work. We're going to do cheeseburgers. But it's hardly labor for the Lara family. Kids go to school all the time, daycare. You know, parents work all day. So it's just nice to be able to have that extra day off to spend time with your family, especially your children. Geneva and Ivan are two of the millions who sacrifice daily to keep food on the table. So today, they're enjoying the fruits of their labor. Big boy wants the big piece. All right. I think it's like a little reward for people that... That, 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 that go put in something for society, you know, like they go in, they work, they do what they got to do. And, you know, this is our one day to spend time with family. But that's not Labor Day for everyone. So this could be some laboring work for you. Oh, yeah, but it's it's a labor that we all love doing. Bob Burnett never takes holidays off, especially if the D-backs are playing a home game. It's a work day for us because if people are out celebrating, doing something, we're out there to take good care of the people. But while Bob is laboring in the heat, Hope Hansen is actually in labor. I'm tired now, but it's great. The real MVP. It went really well. Giving birth to her second daughter, Amelia, on a day ironically marked by labor. I'm glad that it happened because she was a little late. Or maybe right on time. Because Labor Day can mean a lot of things to a lot of different people. <clears throat> Sorry, or dogs. It's a day to be thankful for what we have, or who we have, a labor of love. Just makes you enjoy those special days that, that matter the most to you. Labor Day, baby! Labor Day, baby! On the first Monday in September. So we also know Labor Day as the unofficial end of summer, which is great because it actually felt pretty good outside today. Yeah. And there is some speculation. Now, this is the funny thing about Labor Day is it depends on who you ask what it actually means. Even on Wikipedia, there are several different historical definitions, but a lot of people believe that the timing of it is somewhere in between July 4th and Thanksgiving as a way to give people a day off, okay. kind of in the middle. I, li I like that. Because we all know for the Valley, the unofficial end of summer is just not true for us. Yeah, it's sure. like, it's, I'm it's, waiting for that one. November, everybody keeps telling yeah. me. Yeah, you'll feel good about November 1st. Okay, the real MVP, though, is that mom who labored today oh, yeah. on Labor Day. That's she, a real Labor she Day. She gets the gold star. Mm -hmm. Or maybe Jimmy, because he's here on a late shift when he normally... He said this was like a day off. He got, actually got to sleep here in the morning. I, I got to be honest, uh, I, I'm not playing by the rules. They cloned me. So, <laughs> they're good to go. they yeah. so they got the morning clone they're going to throw out. There can never well. be enough of you. Really neat. <laughs> Anyways, hey, speaking of Labor Day, Hawaii, the big island, it's still Labor Day over there. The sun's just going down. It's pretty awesome how they're so far behind us right now. So beautiful sunset there on the big island for us. Uh, already dark, 88 degrees outside and the dew point at about 56 degrees. Only 26 days left until monsoon is no mas across uh, the southwest. And it does look like our dew points are going to start to go down a little bit here, especially by Thursday. So when our humidity goes down, the temperatures tend to go right back up. Uh, dry air fluctuates. It cools rapidly and it heats rapidly. This time of year, it'll still heat rapidly. And speaking of seasons, we always tend to start as a general rule of thumb. We start summer a month early and we also go about a month late as opposed to the rest of the country. OK, we have Tropical Storm Gordon just off the coast of, the, of Florida right now. That's going to develop potentially. Looks like it's going to turn into a hurricane right now. We have hurricane watches up and down the central Gulf Coast. Uh, landfall on that would be Tuesday night or early Wednesday morning. Here at home, 2.39 inches. We're getting very close to our average total for rainfall. Really not a lot happening right now. Everything else is very quiet across the radar. Seven day forecast going to tell the full story for you. About 101 degrees for our high tomorrow, then 102. And there's that dry pocket of air moves up to about 107 for Saturday. But Cree Bay looks like we're going to be uh, rain freak for the next seven days. All right. Thank you, Jimmy. That 101 looks good. Ahead on 12 News at 10, he only played about a quarter of one game last sure. season. Sure. The Cardinals running back David Johnson has the full confidence of his new head coach to shoulder the load this year.
And don't forget to weigh in on tonight's live interactive poll. Who do you think should fill John McCain's Senate seat? Go to 12news.com slash your voice to vote. The final results at the end of the show. Stay with us. 12 Sports is sponsored by your Valley Toyota dealers. National clearance event. Only happens once a year. We've got the last of the 2018s. We have amazing deals. Great lease deals. Deals so good. I wish I came up with it, but <laughs> get in here. Toyota's National Clearance Event is the best part of summer. During Toyota's National Clearance Event, get 0% 60-month financing on any new 2018 RAV4 or RAV4 Hybrid, or get $2,500 cash back on either one. I think we need more signs. Toyota, let's go places. Long-term use of Johnson's baby powder or other talcum powder has been linked to ovarian cancer. If you or a loved one suffered from ovarian cancer after using one of these products, you may be entitled to compensation. Call Goldberg and Osborne. Meanwhile, in a secret location in Phoenix, the politicians are plotting. They want to impose a new tax on services. But Pat is here to protect Arizona's taxpayers. A vote yes on 126, protect Arizona taxpayers, will stop them from taxing veterinary services, health care, child care, and more. Don't let them create a new sales tax and stall the economy. Vote yes on 126. Vote yes on 126, protect Arizona taxpayers. It started like any other day. I got up, went to the office, you know, basic stuff. Then I heard from the boss. Hey, babe, what's up? Hey, don't forget to switch our credit cards to Mountain America. Yeah, yeah, I'm on it. I made the jump to a Mountain America credit card. It was fast and easy. Plus, I got a 3% cash bonus on the spot when I transferred my balance. Now I use my credit card for everything. Get a 3% cash bonus on balance transfers when you make the jump to Mountain America. Well, well, well. What have we here? A magical place that's looking to get scared. With bats and ghouls and cars in disguise. I've cast quite a spell now. You won't believe your eyes. The spell is cast. Halloween time is back with spectacular experiences in Disneyland and Disney California Adventure Parks. If you've been injured in an accident, call Goldberg and Osborne immediately because evidence must be preserved and witnesses need to be interviewed before they forget the details of the accident. Call Goldberg and Osborne, 1-800-THE-EAGLE. 12 Sports is sponsored by your Valley Toyota dealers. All right, Coop is here with sports. And Coop, are the D-backs for real or are they just going to break our hearts? <laughs> That's a great question, Caribe. You know, before their debacle in L.A. over the weekend, I would have said, heck yeah, the Diamondbacks are for real. But mercy, it's starting to look like the pressure of the pennant race is too much for them. Hey, you had to like the Diamondbacks' chances tonight against the Padres. Pitcher Brian Mitchell, who was winless on the season with an ERA near seven, should see a lot of Diamondbacks runs, right? Wrong. Mitchell looked more like Cy Young, giving up just one run on two hits in five innings of work. Mm. On the flip side, Diamondback starter Zach Godley, brilliant in his last start, gave up a three-run homer and a solo homer to Fran Mil Reyes. My goodness, Diamondbacks lose to the last place Padres. Their fourth straight loss, 6-2 the final. Mm. You know, we had, we had a, uh, a tough four-game series against L.A., you know, physically and mentally. Um, you know, and I, I think uh, I think today was kind of uh, you know you're, you're trying to do a little more because maybe you're not 100% there physically or mentally as a team. <laughs> Boy, that's bad news to hear there. Hey, Dodgers lost to the Mets tonight in L.A. Took a little to sting away. However, Rockies won and they take over first place in the West. All right, it's week one of the NFL season. We're just three days until the Falcons and Eagles kick off right here on 12 News. That'll be on Thursday. And if you have yet to hold your fantasy football league draft, well, take this into consideration. Former Cardinals head coach Bruce Arians consistently said he wanted to get the ball to David Johnson 30 times a game. However, new head coach Steve Wilkes has a different playbook, but says the running game will be the strength of the team. I don't think you can really put
put a number on his touches. I think it's all based off the flow of the game. It's all based off what you scouted on film. You know, we want to run the football, and we believe right now our strength is in our offensive line, and we want to continue to set the tone up front, and not only for us just trying to create a new line of scrimmage, but also protecting the quarterback. You know, when there's opportunity to be able to, be able to throw the football and, um, you know, go over the top, we want to make sure we're giving the QB, you know, that time to do that. So, uh, you know, I wouldn't question that at all. I think it does go through David. All right, Cardinals kick off their season Sunday against the Washington Redskins, 1.25 p.m. Mike. I love Coach Wilkes. He fires me up. You know? <laughs> it's like that presence of his. All right. Don't go to bed in just six minutes. Ariana Grande joins Jimmy on The Tonight Show right after 12 News at 10. PXG performance is the only thing that matters. That's why we develop our new Gen 2 Super Game Improvement Irons. These game-changing clubs take forgiveness to the absolute limit, helping golfers at every level feel the joy that comes with hitting the ball further, straighter, and posting lower scores. Call 844-PLAY-PXG or visit pxg.com to get rocking. PXG, nobody makes golf clubs the way we do, period. Summer is the time to get out and go. But before you do, get in to the Hyundai Epic Summer Sales Event. Lease the Elantra for just $159 a month or get 0% APR for up to 72 months. Only at your Valley Hyundai dealers. for true heroes. That's the tribute card from Desert Diamond West Valley Casino, a rewards card exclusively for active duty, retired, and veteran members of the U.S. military. With benefits like $10 free play twice a month and invitations to special events, it's our way of saying thank you. The tribute card, only at Desert Diamond West Valley Casino, where jackpots hit close to home. See the reward center for details. An enterprise of the Donna Autumn Nation. This week, Fallon is back and all new with Paul McCartney. And sometimes you, you do this. Do I do that? Yeah, I do that. And tonight, Ariana Grande, Nick Kroll, and a performance by Aerosmith. The Tonight Show. Then Seth has Martha Stewart. Late night, tonight. Well, welcome back. Here are the final results from tonight's live interactive poll. Who do you think should fill John McCain's Senate seat? Well, three quarters of you say it should be a family member. Politician or business leader follow close behind. Well, thanks everyone for putting your trust in us. And remember that we are always on at 12news.com and our social media channels. We'll see you back here for 12 Today with Emma and Paul. That's from 4.30 a.m. to 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching Arizona's most watched station, home of your favorite shows, official home of the Arizona Cardinals, and everything Arizona. So we were on our cruise, and I saw a little something that I just had to get for you. What? Honey. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Whoa. We just knew. You shouldn't have. Well, it was a little bit pricey. Expensive. But you are worth it. I... I have no words. Don't spend too much on chicken. At Sanderson Farms, you get fresh quality chicken for an honest price. Sanderson Farms.
So I switched to CenturyLink Internet. It's great. My price is set for life. For life? For life. They can't do that. Yeah, no contract either. What, no contract? No contract. They wouldn't do that. No, they wouldn't do that. We did that. Guys, I'm telling you. Introducing CenturyLink Price for Life Internet with no contract, no bundling needed, and no rate hikes. Keep your rate as long as you keep your plan. Switch now at CenturyLink.com. Sanctuary cities, a radical and dangerous immigration.